What's up? We back with another episode of 411 Uncut. Today, I got a very special guest in here with me. Somebody I've been wanting to get on this couch for a minute. MG Sleepy. What's going on, gang? What's going on, man? I just woke up. Hey, no, you really just woke up. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like every time I see you, you be like, I just woke up, Nella. I'm like, what? You just woke up? Yeah. I did, man. I was just in the car. Slumped over. Man, say that ride from Cincinnati to Columbus, get you a uh, Columbus to Cincinnati, get you a good little, little sleep. A little nap. Mm -hmm. Okay. For sure. Now, what, th what does M the MG stand for, MG Sleepy? Uh, motion Gang. Motion I really My shit was really uh, Murder Gang at first because I'm from 18th. But I had to change the sign. It sounds so crazy and evil. <laughs> so you didn't um, want to sound so evil? Yeah. So I changed it. Changed it. Now, um, you from Columbus, Ohio. What part of Columbus you from? The north side. The north side. Yeah, I'm from the zone. Okay. What is it like up there in the north side of Columbus? It's not a game. It's not a game. <laughs> it was never a game. You don't want to even go over there. You come to Columbus, that's probably the part of you you're not going to want to go to. And if you got relatives, they probably live out east. Mm. Like that's like where the nice little cribs and shit and shit. Yeah. And like deep south, probably. But not north though. Say not north. Hell no. Nah. That's where it go down. Yeah, that's where we be having the fair and shit. Yeah. And all that shit. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Man, I mean, it's crazy because the first time I went to Columbus, my, my guys from here was telling me, like, hey, be careful. I'm like, okay, I'm be careful. They're like, man, they don't play out there. Oh, no, nah, hell like, no. It's, it's a lot of gang shit going on. Uh, the gang culture is real there. And I didn't know because we don't have that in Cincinnati. Can you can you kind of elaborate, like, how serious the gang culture is out there? Yeah. No, our shit, like, our shit not like one of old school gang shit, though. Like bloods and crip shit. Or shit like hoods. Where hoods niggas is from and like what side of the town niggas is from for real, for real. Like it's still hood parts out east too though. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That's just where the nice houses be at for old folks for real. But it's still, bro, it's shit going on on every side of town for real. Everybody got their own shit. But niggas is beefing over hoods or probably dead niggas like deaths and shit. Mm -hmm. Or shit ain't really about no blood or crip shit. Right. It'd be like real shit that already happened. It got to be real event that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, growing up, what was you into though on the north side? What was you doing as a kid? Shit, I used to be on some fried shit. I used to be stealing cars and shit. I used to be doing hella shit. Oh, you was acting crazy. Yeah, hell yeah. Early, how old you say you was when you bullshit. start getting that type of shit? <laughs> Damn, you like. I had to been like, um, shit, like 12, 13. Wow. I started doing shit. We used to go to the lot and shit. Bunch of shit that I ain't even, I used to do. So you ain't had no business more. doing? Yeah, hell yeah. Man, um, but you're the only kid in the house, or you got siblings, you got brothers, sisters? Yeah, I got two sisters. Uh, I got a younger sister, it's like 18, 19. Oh, this is bro. Shit, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> she like 18, 19, then I got a baby sister. She in middle school and shit. She oh, okay. probably like 12. So you the only boy? Yeah. Oh, wow. And you the oldest? Yeah. Oh, so you always, they, I get my big brother. It was always like that. Yeah, hell yeah. I be chilling though now. <laughs> <laughs> so you be chilling now? Mm hmm But so they know they can call you if any of these niggas get to tweaking. Niggas don't tweak though. <laughs> <laughs> it's no point. For sure. Now, uh, what was your mom saying when you was getting into all this bullshit? I mean, you stealing cars at 12. I know she was probably like, I'm going to beat your butt when you get home. Yeah. Nah, my mom would kick your ass right out. I'm come home type shit and bring that shit back over here. Mm -hmm. But it's like when you get your shit right, you be cool. But you get to doing all that bullshit. Motherfucker ain't having that shit at their crib. Yeah. It's like you understand now. I fucking doing that though. Mm-hmm. You say it was the environment you was in, though, that was just kind of leading you to get involved yeah, yeah, yeah. with the bullshit. Oh my niggas, we just always bad as fuck. You know how I be growing up. It's like all y'all just all doing shit. It's one do it, everybody do it. It's fuck it. Mm -hmm. It's just fucking environment. That's <laughs> that's just what I give it. It's just fuck it. Just like anything is can, yeah. can happen. A lot of niggas from the zone. Mm -hmm. It's just fuck it. Mm -hmm. it now, is what it is. Now tell me, um, 
what what was you doing in high school? Was it the same vibe once you got you said at twelve, I mean you no. literally you you still in cars at twelve, so what was going on when you were sixteen and seventeen in high school? What was you doing? Yeah, no, by the time I was like sixteen, seventeen, I was selling weed and shit in the school. Everybody knew it. I ain't last too long in high school though. Cause I dropped out when I was in tenth grade. I yeah. thought I had it already figured out. So you was over with. Yeah. Never went back. What? Yeah. So what is it? <laughs> I mean, damn, like, I just ain't going no back. Cap. Like, it's slow. No cap. Like, I just never went back, still to this day. One day I left and just never went back to that motherfucker. So what the hell was you doing all day? Shit, selling the weed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> selling the weed, no cap. Man, now, now, would you say, sis, I mean, you got this free time, did music kind of start becoming a part two at this time? When you yeah, yeah, and, yeah. I mean, you got this extra free time now because you ain't in school, so. Yeah, I started, when I started rapping when I was like, um, when I was like 18, 17, 18, no, like 18, what, 18, brother? Like late 17. 17, yeah, when I got, I didn't get expelled. He got expelled. So your brother got expelled. One day I just left and never came back. So shit, I didn't even get in trouble. You just like I was going to yeah. Ridge. Yeah, I was fucking Ridge for a little second. Then it was like fuck all this, and it was like an East Side school. So you ain't want to get up, be over there for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't care for it. Mm hmm. So when, so so you saying you about eighteen when you first get in the studio and, and fucking around? Yeah. Cause when I first dropped out, I still didn't rap. I was just selling weed, mm -hmm. trying to get that bag on. But yeah, like eighteen, I started really fucking around for real. Mm -hmm. What was that? Uh, what was your first song like when you got in the studio? Did you know like, man, this fire off rip, or did you yeah. have to get it together a little bit? Shit, my first song that I really dropped this shit called "Stop Capping." It was cool at the time, mm -hmm. like three years ago. It was hard, you feel me? But mm -hmm. now. It's like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how everybody's shit is. I feel like like after a while, you just be growing, and then it's just Hell like, yeah. oh, your shit be better than the whole shit. Man. Whole shit change. And I feel like your buzz, though, I mean, not, you know, three years ain't really that bad. I mean, some niggas been rapping for years, and, you know, where you at right now, you got real organic fans um your streaming numbers is going crazy um and we'll we'll get into that but i want to say like i knew it was up you know i turned around the top of the year you're number one on the top 50 artists in ohio list from this only happens in ohio i'm like damn mm -hmm. he number one and, and i'm like well, who is this guy now i'm really inquiring on who you are uh and and i'm not gonna lie to me right now for the top of the year you don't went crazy in this first 90 days of 2024 um yeah how has everything been since you were number one on on the list shit it's like you know niggas be saying that little shit they want to say how they feel it's like in reality just shitting on niggas niggas be feeling like like it's a lot of niggas that feel like they was number one at the point in time it might have been though but niggas don't be making no progress so niggas think when they get to a certain point, they just automatically in a position. Mm -hmm. That's where they fucked up. Right there. That's the end of the story. That's what happened with the list. That's how I got to number one. A lot of niggas was good for a moment, and they get to a certain point, and it's like, no, you're not. Mm -hmm. Niggas don't drop as much videos, songs. They don't really stream for shit. And then they complain when the list comes out, and they're not number one. Yeah. You think, did you, did you felt the hate? Yeah. It's like, go talk to God about it. Fuck you. 